I recently participated in my first ever hackathon and I want to tell you all about it. It's a story with highs. I'm using a tool called Replit and it is genuinely blowing my mind. With lows. Not as exciting when it oh. runs into a failure. <laughs> and also crocodiles. So sit down, get cozy, and let me tell you the story of my first ever hackathon experience at the Kit Create Week retreat. This retreat was taking place in Mexico and my journey there started late on Thursday night. It took me three flights, around 24 hours, but I finally made it alongside Dan, our product design director, who also happens to live in Spain. If you haven't heard me talk about my work before, Kit is a fully remote company and we get together twice a year in person. Normally our retreats are filled with strategy sessions and brainstorms on lots of different topics, but we were trying something a little bit different this time and running a company-wide hackathon. So everyone was participating in it. It wasn't just for like the engineers. We stayed at a beautiful resort in Puerto Vallarta. My room even had its own jacuzzi on the balcony. And I had the whole of Saturday to recover from jet lag, relax by the pool, make friends with the wildlife, and even go to the driving range at the golf course that's attached to the hotel. Here's the thing, I just started learning to play golf in August and I've been to the driving range, I guess a couple of times since then to practice. But I'm playing my first actual round of golf with some team members on Tuesday. I've been assured that I'm not gonna be a hindrance and that there's ways we can play that like, you know, won't require me to be very good essentially. But I still, I'm like, I wanna be able to hold my own somewhat. And so I'm here practicing. Also, it's just fun to practice. At our retreats, all the managers fly in a day early because we have this manager day on Sunday before the retreat kicks off. And anyone who lives in a faraway time zone flies in early too to have a recovery day like I was doing. And at dinner that night, there was a magician named Spider and his magic tricks genuinely blew my mind. It was very fun. What? <laughs> anyway, the next day we had that manager day over at the beach club. Just go back from a full day of manager sessions. We did a SWAT exercise. Strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, threats, if you haven't heard of it. Um, where we were putting like how we're doing as a company, basically taking that high level view and then picked a couple of topics to dive in deep on. We do this really fun exercise for like generating conversation or like sharing opinions or whatever during topics like that. But we have these four boards around the room. They say strongly agree, agree, disagree, strongly disagree. And like someone will say a statement and we move around the room to where we land on that statement. And it just really helps like get a lay of the land for what folks think about a conversation instead of like having to sit around a table and everyone take time to share their opinion. You can sort of like get that initial sense really quickly. So yeah, it's a great exercise. But now the rest of the team has gotten here. And so I'm going to go down to the happy hour and uh, hug a lot of people, I guess. <laughs> it's always so nice to see everybody after six months apart. And on the first night of the retreat on the Sunday night, we all get together in a big circle and we share celebrations of things that happened over the last six months, things we're proud of. And my favorite part is we open our profit sharing checks, which is always a great time. <laughs> on Monday, we had a few scene setting talks from our CEO and our VP of product. We met in our individual teams for one session. This is my wonderful brand studio team, minus one person who sadly couldn't be there. We missed you, Henry. And then that afternoon, Create Week officially began. We are getting deep into our Create Week projects today. Yesterday we had like a kickoff session that my group used for like vision and goal setting of like, where are we gonna get to by the end of the week? Let's try and keep this within scope so we can actually finish something. We made a plan for how we're gonna spend each of the sessions. Our project, if I haven't said it yet, is to build a creator coach AI. So we want to train uh, an AI on a bunch of our content about creative businesses, a bunch of Nathan's content from his podcast where he's like coaching other creators on their businesses. And we want to see if we can build something where a creator could use it to like help them launch a product or like create a course or strategize about the next move for their business. If they could do that in partnership with our AI, AI, why is that so hard to say? Based on, yeah, this content and our expertise that we've built up as a business, then that would be really useful. So yeah, we started gathering the material to like train that AI. And I'm saying this like, I know what that involves, but I guess I'm gonna figure that out today. <laughs> so a bit of background on how these Create Week projects work. Before the retreat, everyone had a chance to pitch projects. Like what would they want to work on? What their ideas were? I think 14 of them were selected to be worked on um, and one person was named as the leader of each project and then everyone else could pick like which project they wanted to contribute to during the week. Our project leader was Miguel from the customer experience team and we had a real mix of folks in our group from other teams. So it was really fun for me to get a chance to work closely with people that I perhaps don't normally get to work closely with. 
But, and this is a very important point for later on, we did not have anyone from engineering on our team. So keep that in mind as we get into the details of this Creator Coach AI project. We've just Splash. ended first session of the day. Where did we get to? Do we feel like we're on track? We've got like a lot of the source material yeah, collected. Well, I think we've got collected, almost think. all of it. We have yeah. some stuff going and we're like testing out, like training the different models. Mm -hmm. And we've got a very ugly prototype website. Just turn the screen around and you can show the new prototype. Yeah. Here we go. Ooh, it even says kit logo at the top. <laughs> so we're going to make it pop. By make it. Telling <laughs> Chat GPT to, to make, make it pop. pop. Yep. yep. And I've got going on, I'm using Coachbox AI. I've fed it some things and now I'm I'm basically in the stage of like seeing what it's given me. I'm making progress. These right here, I'll put them on screen, were all the training materials we gathered. And on the first day we were testing a few different SaaS tools that were designed to help you make an AI coach as well as setting up a chat GPT assistant. And we were looking to see which tool felt like it would get us closest to what we wanted with the level of control that we wanted to have. Um, and of course, we started running into issues. Because sometimes we'll have failures depending on like, the, like there's some limitations to how much. Yeah, like oh. this happened before. So give me a second. So here you can, you limit the, the not, return. Not as exciting when it oh. runs into a failure. <laughs> Oh, exciting times ahead. That doesn't sound like us at all. <laughs> these are not exciting times ahead. It's hard because this is also a new, like, I don't know some the of these. Yeah, yeah, and I don't know what settings. I don't know stuff about like tokens and minimums and maximums. I don't know what settings. We're spiraling. <laughs> We're spiraling. <laughs> we had to leave it there for the day, though, because on Tuesday afternoon, we had an activity time, which is where I had chosen to play that first round of golf that I talked about earlier. David on the Brand Studio team is a very avid golfer, so this is him telling us that we're gonna play a scramble, which I had no idea what they meant at the time, but um, I soon came to learn it's perfect for a beginner because basically you just like hit from wherever the best ball in your group landed. So I didn't have to actually hit my balls particularly well, although one or two times my ball actually was the best ball, so very proud of that. How do you think it's gonna go, David? I think it's gonna go spectacularly well. <laughs> oh, is this your bag? Little did I know then that this iguana would not be the biggest reptile that I saw out on the course. I'll spare you the like 30 minutes of golf footage that I took this afternoon, but this was so much fun and a big shout out to these guys for being so encouraging during my first game and for making it so fun. This is definitely the start of a new hobby for me. I loved it so much, but this is not a golf channel. So let's get back to the work. Slightly spooky lighting, but it is 7 a.m. I had so much fun at golf yesterday that I wanna go again. So I'm gonna to go to the driving range this morning. I'm just waiting for it not to be so dark outside. Um, and while I'm doing that, I am getting a bit of a head start because today's our last day to work on it. And I'm using a tool called Replit, Replit? I'm not actually sure how to pronounce it for the first time and it is genuinely blowing my mind. Let me show you what I have been making. What I'm trying to do is like mock up the way we think the AI will live, which is in this, if you hit command K inside the kit app, um, we get this little modal. And so we're thinking this is where the AI could live. And so I'm trying to mimic that. And this is what I've got so far here in Replit. I've got it looking like this. We've got the logo here, which is matching here. Um, I've got it saying chat with your credit coach. I just asked it to change the color of the chat bubble. So we'll just test that briefly. Not an actual prompt I'll give. Ooh, interesting. Okay, I told it to make the text black. And so it's done that <laughs> a little too well. Well, that's good that it asked me a question. I did ask for that to be blue and I asked for this to be our uh, like brand blue, which it's not. So come back in here. I'm gonna copy from our brand guidelines. How should I say this? Text in the black bubble should be, Oop. let's see what this gives us. So it takes a bit of time, but it's pretty cool that I can just, you know, tell it to do things rather than having to Google how to make that change myself. When you see the screenshot, you can immediately tell, whoops, well, it didn't respond to that, but okay, let's test the, the bubble text at least. Good, okay, that's the right color now. Maybe we'll make this blue. This process of coding, quote unquote, I don't know if we uh, like want to say it without quotes yet, but it made me feel so powerful, just like typing what I wanted it to do and having Repl then like implement it for me. It was just like, it honestly blew my mind. <laughs> Yay, now it's blue like I wanted it to be. It's so fun to like work with AI on something like this. This is how we need to be seeing it, you know? It's not something that is going to replace our jobs is something we're going to use to do our jobs and it's interesting to see how it does require some sort of like understanding of what you're doing 
as well, like, you know, how I want that send button to be blue, I know that it's light blue because it's disabled, because I understand, like, how software works, and when you can't click on a button, like, the general pattern is for it to be faded. So the AI, AI is probably making a good choice there, it's just, like, not the look that I want. But I can imagine if I didn't, like, understand that, that'd be frustrating, I'd feel like, oh, it's not doing what I want it to do. If I wanted that to be our full strength blue, I would need to say, don't disable the send button. I'm not going to test that right now, because I am going to go meet David and go to the driving range, but yes, we have three sessions today. How many hours will that be? Probably going to be at least five hours that we'll spend on this, but we need to finish our mock-up. There's definitely still some like training of the AI to be done, and I want to think about how to like position and market it, and of course I'm going to use Claude, my best AI writing friend, and we're going to practice our presentation and make the presentation to begin with. I guess there's a lot of work to do today, but first I'm going to go hit some more golf balls. What did I say about this not being a golf channel? Sorry, but yeah, David gave me some coaching at the driving range, and then it was back to our Create Week projects, for our last day of working on them. And naturally, likely because it was the last day, this is also the day that we ran into our biggest problems with our project. So by this point, we had decided that we were using a GPT assistant and not one of the SAS tools we've been trying because we were hitting limits with those with the length of some of our training docs and we couldn't get a specific, I guess, when it came to training the AI how to respond. Because it was very interesting for me to learn that it's one thing to give an AI reference documentation, but you also have to give it context on how it should use that document and how it should communicate with the user based on what you've trained it on. We were asking ours to do specific things like ask follow-up questions, respond in a tone of voice that sounded like Kit, give practical steps that the creator could take next. And we're working on getting the balance right because there'd be some times that would respond with like way too many steps or way too many questions. And we also had a seriously hard time getting it to stop using exclamation marks so much. Even when Tom wrote, do not use exclamation marks. He used a freaking exclamation mark. But while most of the group was focused on testing and adjusting the training instructions, myself and Caitlin, so this is the creative director and the lifecycle marketing manager, we were coding. I was building up that mock-up of the interface inside kit, as you saw, and Caitlin was working on our external facing demo site, and we were feeling pretty proud of the way that we'd both managed to connect the ChatGPT AI to our interfaces. I was using Replit, Caitlin was using ChatGPT to output HTML and CSS. Uh, but then we hit two, I'm putting up four fingers, two major issues. I think Caitlin was just working on styling something and put something into the AI to like see what the bubble looked like. And it responded with this. We were like, hmm, does our AI have a sense of humor now? What's going on? And so Caitlin said this and it responded, emails. Now Caitlin definitely does have a sense of humor. So she followed up asking this and naturally our AI's response was, emails. I don't even know how to explain it because it's not that funny in my retelling, but I absolutely lost it at this. I was literally crying laughing. I think it was partly due to being tired, but also partly because we'd put two days of work in by this point, and what we'd built was an AI that could only say emails. <laughs> Honestly, kind of fitting, I guess, for an email marketing software company, but it wasn't what we were going for. But while Caitlin was dealing with that and with my crying laughing, I was also dealing with another issue. Uh, ever since that morning, I'd been trying to deploy what I'd built in Replit so that I could share the link around with folks for testing, and it kept failing to deploy. I kept trying to fix it, feeding its own error messages back into it, but I eventually got it into such a mess that I couldn't even roll it back to when it was working. Like, I somehow even broke the rollback point. And in the end, after many hours of like fighting with this, I did something that I really had been trying to avoid, and that was start again from scratch. It was very frustrating, but I guess it's kind of like a hackathon rite of passage to have to do something like that. It happens, I rebuilt it, and this time I just didn't try to deploy it. We just used the like preview link instead, which I didn't know existed in the first place. For our last session, we spent time on our presentation because did I mention at the beginning that there are actual prizes at stake here? And then David and I went to play golf again. We saw an even bigger crocodile this time. But this is the last time I mentioned golf in this video, I promise. We spent a bit more time on our Create Week project that evening as well. There was just like some things we wanted to fine tune about how the interfaces were working. We wanted to put the presentation into like more of its final form. And then it was officially the last day of our retreat and it was presentation day. It is 8.40 a.m. We present at 9. Running through the presentation. Just, you know, for the first or second time. Yeah, but it's under five minutes already, but it's also because I'm like talking a mile a minute, so. Yes, yeah. Tom can go down to 1.5 speed. Yeah. <laughs> I was honestly feeling really good about what we'd built until 
I started watching the other team's presentations. One group had not only built apps for the Kit App Store using AI, but they'd also made a bunch of training videos to help other people do that too. And I'm just like, the sheer amount of work that they did. Another group made a prototype feature for Kit where you can save your brand fonts alongside your saved colors and apply your brand templates with just one click. It was really cool. That was the one I personally was most excited about. Another shipped like, I don't even know how many accessibility improvements, like actually live to the app during those three days. Very impressive. Our presentation was in the second session and by the time we presented I didn't think we'd have a chance at winning any of the prizes but I did feel very confident that we had the best walk-up song. Emails, 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 emails. Instead of telling you how our presentation went, how about I just play it for you so you can see what we built. So we wondered, what if every creator had a growth manager? What if every growth manager was Nathan? <laughs> introducing the creator coach AI. So we trained an AI on everything from podcasts to case studies to 400 knowledge-based articles to create a virtual CGM who could operate as a 24 seven coach. Creator coach knows the tactics and the strategies that build a valuable business and then knows how to implement those strategies directly inside of kit as well. We told the AI to act as Nathan Barry, but to keep that a secret. Let's see what the creator coach has to say. So based on all the knowledge that we have shared with it, it provides some pretty good advice. Right now it's a bit generic and it's we can give it a little more context about Charlie's business specifically. And the advice gets to be more relevant to her, suggesting that she could bundle some of her products and give exclusive workshops. And if Charlie wants to know exactly how to implement this in kits, the creator coach will walk her through it. But what if Charlie could just go open up kits hit command K and begin chatting with the creator coach who has the full context of her business and all of her kit data. Considering her open rate as it gives her a strategy and knowing exactly which digital products she has available that she can offer her subscribers. This is much closer to having a CGM that has the full context of your business and is gonna be able to give you more relevant strategies and ways to implement them. So meet your creator business coach. While the judges were deliberating, I'd been asked to run an activity that we did at a retreat back in 2019, where we dreamed really big about all of the creators that we wanted to see using our product. So we had everyone put stickies on the wall of creators they admire, creators who they want to be part of the Kit Creator Network, creators who want to get us customers in the next five years, and. It was so much fun to do all this dreaming together. We had like a way bigger board than last time because our team is way bigger than last time. And now we have this like customer vision board that's like shared amongst all of us. Then it was time for judging and my team won nothing. We won nothing, just as I expected. <laughs> Seriously though, I'm so proud of what we built. I wish we'd had more time to work on like the marketing of our Creator Coach AI to show some examples of how we'd use it to reach creators and build brand awareness, but I guess who knows, maybe we will actually complete this project one day and release it and we'll get to work on the marketing of it then. My biggest learnings from this first hackathon though was, well firstly, they're so much fun, definitely would do again. But two, that we probably should have assigned different focus areas at the beginning of the project of what each person in our group would ultimately be responsible for. I think we did really well planning as a team what we needed to spend our time on, but that maybe we could have gotten further with the project if we'd broken it down even more individually, instead of just having everyone pitch in to most things, if that makes sense. We had dinner and a bit of a dance party on the beach for our last night, and it was just a really great end to a really great week. I've been working at Kit for more than eight years now, which I know is not the done thing in the tech world to stay at a company for that long, but this is why I stay. I'm still growing, I'm still learning new things, and I'm doing it alongside smart people who I genuinely enjoy being around and working with, and it's just, it's very special. If you'd like to see what a regular work week in my life looks like when I'm not in Mexico, dancing on a beach and driving golf carts around near crocodiles, then you should check out my first Creative Director Diaries vlog where I take you behind the scenes on some of the projects that I'm working on and show you what my work routine is like in a regular week. So, I'll see you over there. Emails.